on, face! This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. What's that supposed to mean? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S. O. Wait for it. S. Let's make some inquiries. Drop the location on my map. Another brave soul for our ranks. Welcome aboard. I must say, I'm rather looking forward to the experience. Let's go hunt some baddies. Excellent. All right, I'm here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Excuse me. Did you just call me on a flip phone? What decade is this? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. And who the fuck might you be? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S. And I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. We'll listen, but I'm not promising anything. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Bagley? Sabine, what do you think about all this? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. For example, and in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Well, this is inconvenient. Our contact isn't here. Looks like there was a struggle. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. I'll try. No promises. Good day. What are you doing? I ain't seen nothing of. What do you mean? 
Wait. You don't look... Oh, bollocks. You're undercover, aren't you? Trying to see if I'll talk, eh? Ain't gonna happen. Get a hold of yourself. I ain't seen nothing. Done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. Bloody hell. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Follow it. Construction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. Contact's assailant stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress.
Our contacts assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Mercenaries? Not sirs. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Thank you, Bagley. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tyre tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me. Hate to sound like a smartass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it. Uh, I'm not who you think I am. I swear. Uh, uh, uh. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. That's, that's not me. I swear to God, please, please. Well, I suppose we agreed to meet him. It would be bad form to let him be killed now. Bagley, a location, if you please. Calm down. I'm dead sec. You called us? Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your sorry life. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. No, you'll explain everything. Now. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Fine. We'll have our people analyze your intel. Don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. So, he claims to be a whistleblower. Hmm. Let's check his intel, see what's what. All right, one second. Bagley, look into this, will ya? If it's not bollocks, get everyone together for a meeting. This is a tactical nightmare. We're in the dark here. We ought to walk away. Absolutely disagree. 
He needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arsehole that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Not a bad idea. Yeah, all right. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... We get it. Kill the leader, kill Zero Day. But why come to us now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Well, this can't be our fault. All we did was stand up to stupid Zero Day, right? Cut that victim-flaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. You've got yourself quite the wheel. All right, I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. Spying on spies? I approve. Tell me more. SIRS uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Bloody hell. You could be horrified if you want, but it's saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms.
Shit. Rest now, friend. We'll finish your mission for you. Operative KIA, apologies. Nasty business. So this is filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I've persuaded Filament Security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Are all Sir's spooks as helpful as you? It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DeadSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are... Differing schools of thought.
Intel acquired. Exfiltrating. Nice one. I have the spy list. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Pleasant fella. I have Malik for you. Patch him through. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Say again. The files are logged, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Hello, Richard. We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who is your masked saviour, we wonder? I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority.